Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a meta squad board that we're going to start off with some top tier high octane players that you can get this team under a million coins, rank one already and elite level ready. Now, because that's the best way we're going to get chemistry, we're just going to go here to a 4-2-4. It's one of my favorite formations and we're going to start off with Stanaway. Now, this card for 100k is an absolute steal. She's one of four cards inside the game that has above 89 sprint speed, above 90 defensive awareness, above 85 finishing and top tier stats will run if you look at this card this is team of the year caliber in fact she's even better than some of the cards you can get nowadays she's definitely gonna last you high high work rates the play style she's got the jockey play style which means she's going to move left to right very very quickly and she's got the pinged pass perfect for making those passes especially if you've got the ball let's say in your midfield or you have your midfield over here and you want to make a pass all the way from your midfielder to your striker it's very very good with the r1 next so she definitely goes in no weaknesses at all with her maybe you can argue a statue is a bit of an issue but to be honest let's be realistic it's not an issue at all and very very good card and she's also got long ball tiki taka technical and first touch so perfect card and of course she just got upgraded don't think maybe she lacks the composure but that's not too much of an issue for a center mid then we're going to go over to the next card. Right next to we're going to put Madri. I'm going to explain to you how this works out for chemistry as well. So Madri, another very decent card. Um, she's got 5-star, 4-star skill moves. Going forward, she's actually pretty decent as well. She is medium high work rates, only 100k. Um, she can link to that Diani card as well. Um, but she's got very good defensive awareness, very good sprint speed, and very good finishing and agility and balance. She can basically do everything. Another amazing card. You know, a lot of people complain. Yeah, don't give us good cards, but look at this. Yeah, give us some of the best cards this year. Yes, the game can be paid to win, but if they're giving us cards for this much, it's an absolute steal. Um, technical play style, which is a plus, um, and she's got press proven. If she had a finesse shot, it would have been even better, but she's still a very, very good card. Medium high, so she can actually sit back as well, but you can put on get forward to basically overcompensate for her lack of ability. Then we're going to go over to defense. You're going to see how this is all going to come into chemistry as well. We've got Orban now. Orban. One of the best centre-backs inside the game. People are doing this Marquez card. This Marquez card, by the way, is an absolute fraud. Don't do this Marquez card. You're honestly being conned by this Rafa Marquez card. 82 sprint speed. It's honestly it's laughable. And he hasn't even got any good play styles that are probably worth it. And if you look at it, most of the time, his defending is not even better than some of the existing cards. So don't fall for this Marquez card. He looks like he's good. He looks like he's all fine and good. But look at that dead ball. He's got to anticipate, but that's it. He hasn't really got anything else, so probably definitely not worth the money that people are paying for him right now. Low high, perfect for a centre back, six foot one. He's got anticipate play style as well, similar to Marquez. So if you want, like that Marquez type player, but you want someone who's got a jockey play style, intercept and aerial, and he's got very good luck, 95 defensive awareness, 89 sprint speed. You put a shadow on that, you've got near about maxed out sprint speed and defending stats. Of course, got the physicality. And, of course, he's got the short passing. Does he lack one thing? Yes, stamina. Does it matter for a centre-back? No. And he's got the reactions and the composure to show for it. A very, very important. The benefit of this card is, is that being medium-high or low-high is one of the best workers you can get for a centre-back. They're always in position. They're at the right place at the right time. So he's one of those cards that you can't go wrong with. Then we're going to go over to the other centre-back. We've got this card now this card again another underrated card though no, i want to show you show you how we get full chemistry how we sort everything out in a second another medium high card like i mentioned before a very very good card you could probably even get away with putting an anchor on him i'll probably still put a shadow on him still just to max out that acceleration but you can also put an anchor on him and you can improve those physical stats as well the only thing he lacks here or well, he doesn't really lack anything it's just maybe the heading accuracy is that important Absolutely not. You're not shooting to score a goal. It's still going to make a pass, a normal headed pass in the right direction. Don't think that the pass is going to go astray. More than good enough, the play stars he does have is intercept. He's got slide tackle and he's got ping the pass. And he's got the actual long pass and jockey. So if you want to play him in a center and you want a player that can distribute the ball, let's say, for example, you've got the ball with your center mid and you want to pass the ball to your striker or even to your the other centre mids, you can use someone like this card to distribute that ball and he's ready. You can even play as a fullback if you want to. A very aggressive card that's probably definitely worth one of the best cards inside the game. Then we're going to move over to one of the best cards you can get for 40k right now. There's two variations. It's up to you which one you get. It depends what you want. Do you want the 5 star skill moves or do you want the 4 star 
skill moves or five star weak foot. It's just a bit of a difficult one. I'd probably lean more towards the five star weak foot unless you're a skiller. Again, a top tier card. You can put a hunter on him. 99 sprint speed, 95 finishing, 95 shot power. He does like the long shots, but he's a winger. He's not going to use the long shots that often. Good short passing, good stamina. And of course, he has everything that you'd want. And one of the two of the best, no, sorry. Two of the best playstyle pluses inside the game. He's got first touch and he's got the quick step playstyle. Perfect for making those quick movements. You can use a pinged pass with Stanway. Using Stanway in combination with Pulisic. So you get the ball with Stanway, do a pinged pass to Pulisic. Absolute gold mine because he's got the first touch. He's going to control her pass perfectly and he's got the quick step to get that acceleration boost. And he's also got the rapid playstyle as well. Honestly, what a joke. Even at best, a super sub. Good composure, very good card. Um, for 30k, it's an absolute steal. Probably the most underpriced card inside the game. Um, then we're going to go over to the opposite side now. We're going to go over to George Best now. This is how chemistry comes together. We had to... We was looking at other cards here. There's definitely other cards available. But just in the element of chemistry, put George Best in here. Four star, four star, five foot nine. He's still a top tier card. You put a Hunter on him and he still lasts. He's got 98 sprint speed. Almost 99 sprint... Basically 99 sprint speed. He's like one sprint speed stat. Um, but then he's got 99 finishing. Shot power is at 90. And he's got 88 long shots. So you can play that cam roll if you want to play him. Good agility and balance. And he's got a good short passing. Very good card. We've got a technical play style. Could be better. But of course, unless you want to spend 1.5 for plus two stats, <laughs> it's probably not worth it. Then we're going to go with our second stri striker. We've got Raspadori, one of my other favorite cards. Very, very nice card as well. Always been my favorite because he's very agile. He's kind of like a Ben Yedder, but this card is five star, five star. People always look at this card and think, oh, he's cheap. He must be bad. I don't know what people are playing at. It's some of the best cards you can get. High, low, five for eight, five star, five star. Finesse shot, play star. Power header. <coughs> It can be used, but he's a bit, maybe a bit too on the short side. But it's like a more of a striker to stay for. He's got a ping pass and rapid and technical. So you can also set up the other players as well. Um, but you put a hunter on him again. He can also play on the wing, but I'd probably say he's predominantly a striker because of lack of that stamina. Um, but very good, very good short pass. And you can leave him as a stay forward cam as well. And he gives us the links to Pulisic. Um, very good agility and balance, 97 finishing, 90 shot power, and 94 sprint speed. Likes the long shots, as I said, mainly as a striker. Maybe you can get away with a cam if you don't use the long shots that much. Um, he may be weak on a finesse shots because he lacks the curve and the long shots, but that's about it. Five star, five star, you got a fantastic card inside the game. And um, then we're just going to go over to the right back role. So we've gone with Zanetti. Now there's two Zanettis again. It depends what choice you want. I'll, prob I'll probably be honest, I'll probably go for the weak foot variation here. Um, again, another top tier card. Now, you've got a choice here. You can either play this guy in centre mid. This is the beautiful thing about the Zanetti card. Is that you can move him to centre mid later on inside the game. Or play like a 3-5-2, move him down the wing or whatever. You can get that job done. Um, 5 foot 10, good height, high, high work rates. Um, it can do basically everything. This jumping lags a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. You can put an anchor on him and you've got a really good top tier card. Here. He's got literally everything that you'd want. 94 crossing, 93 long pass, and 87, so 93 short pass, and 87 long passing. And he's got that GLT balance as well. The play styles could be better, but you do have the whipped pass and relentless. Um, so he's definitely going to go on that stamina. He could have better play style pluses, but then at that price for this price range, it's actually a really good steal. You're only really looking at maybe a Carlos or Roberto Carlos, and even then, is Roberto Carlos worth it? It's a bit of a, a different situation because you could argue. The 90, 90 Roberto Carlos. To be honest, look, I know he hasn't. He's five foot six, two star weak foot. Probably not worth it. So Zanetti definitely goes in there. Then we got more of a defensive player. Like if you, let's say you're playing a four three two one and you want someone that can go forward with the ball. Then we got James. James is a fantastic card here. Uh, very very good. High medium. That's the only downside, but. He's got the jockey play style plus. Um, if you can go with a foot birthday, but let's be realistic. Hardly anyone's going to go with a fixed price of 200k SBC. But if you really like him, you could do but a high medium. But again, another top tier card. You put a shadow on him. You've got a really, really good card. One of a gold mine of a guide. 40k only. Um, the only downside is he lacks stamina. But if he's a right back on stay back while attacking in a 4-3-2-1, he is fine. You could use another player here. You could use uh, just another quick reference. You could use someone like Lamptey. There's actually so many players you could use here. 
you could use Lamptey. Lamptey is a very, very good card. You put a shadow on him, and you honestly are laughing at those stats with five, five star, four star, but next to strength. One other card, another one that's favorite of mine, is Rico Lewis, and that continues to give the links to Stanway as well. He's also got a jockey play style, but he's got that better pace, better agility balance, got the stamina. Um, five foot nine, though, but high mediums so are going forward. He can bomb down the wing with that and a 94 short passing. It likes the long passing, but you won't be using it that much unless you're selling those balls over the top. So you can use him there. Um, in elements of ca chemistry, we've got with Van der Sar in goalkeeper. And then we've got Raul over here in, cent in central striker. This would be alongside Raspadori, four star, five star weak foot. A very, very good card. Um, one of the top tier strikers you can really get into the game because he's got 93 composure. Very underlooked stat for a striker. You see a lot of strikers here with below 85 composure. They're not that good in front of goal, especially in this FIFA and FC24, should I say rather, where we know how bad finishing is. But a top tier card, 99 finishing, 92 shot power. And he's got the volleys and penalties, which doesn't make a difference. Um, but he's got a good passing as well, good stamina and good jumping. So he's basically an all-in-one striker. They've got the finesse shot play style as well, you're laughing. The 93 is probably just a bit too much. Probably not worth the upgrade. Yes, you do get the technical play style. Um, but you're talking about that's literally 10 times the amount of money for just a, a better card. Unless you're really playing for the play style. You could, of course, go with a Hawk as well. A Hawk does give that ability to get that sprint speed up. And it gets a long shots up if you want to play him as a cam or for cam roll. Um, but I definitely recommend a Hunter. So that's how it looks for chemistry. Then if you want to choose, it depends who you want. So if you want, um, let's say you want chemistry, you can do whatever you want. You can put Italian manager in for Raspadori. Um, or you can put a US manager. It's only those two cards that are really going to be off chemistry. All you got to do is just go here. You go to Italian, go here to Italian, you choose anyone you want, the Conte if you want, and there you go, only one player lacks the chemistry. So how is this set up now in, in game? So if you're gonna be playing a typical 4-3-2-1, which we know is pretty much the meta, I shouldn't, we'll start with a we'll start with 4 2 3 one first before we go to the 4 3 2 one should I say rather. Um, you can do something like this, I would say Raul, probably the better cam here. And you do something like this. I think it works perfectly well here. Um, we'll go to the 352. This is what I meant with Zanetta. You can move him into that place. James can play that right center mid role very, very well. You can even put him in the middle. The reason why I like him in the middle a bit better because he's got that agility and balance as well. To be honest, so does Orban. Orban's also got the agility balance, but it's not the best compared. I like someone that's quick and that can maneuver. So I'm just to bear in mind. Um, then I've got Stanway and Madri, and of course you can even move Madri to the wing because Madri has that ability to go down the wing and attack, and she's medium high, so she could actually come back and help you defend. So this could be a very good system as well. Um, or you can go something like this, put Raul and Cam, and you can put Pulisic in striker, or you could go with something like this. But you've got to be careful with Pulisic though, because he's got the stamina, but he hasn't really got the best of work rate. He's not going to really come back in time. High, high. So you've got one high, medium, one medium, high. Maybe that's fine with the balance. Um, but this guy is preferably better inside the box, I would say. So that's just something to bear in mind. Maybe I will do something like this, even with medium, medium, and put that player and come back in the fence. Then we're going to go over to the 4-3-2-1. Um, this one meant, so James as the player on stay back. And then what you can do is, in fact, you could probably do something like this as well if you really, really want to. Best I'll put as an attack in centre mid, Raspadori, something like this, or you can actually interchange any of these players to be honest, but I'll probably go somewhere like this. And then I'll put Zanetti in the middle. You could put Stano because you've got the jockey play style. It depends because then you can do those direct ping passes into the middle. Or you could do something like this and then have Zanetti going forward. But if you rely on the full back to go forward, you could switch to a quick switcheroo. And you could have Madri going forward down the wing and then James on stay back. And then a 4 on 2 on 2 as I said, you can put Raul over there in the middle. And you can put Stanway in CDM, yeah, probably put um, Zanetti there. And then Madri, can, she can go forward if you want to. Or you could do something like this, put Stanway there. And have something like this. And you can relegate George Best to left left center mid. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. That is a top meta 1 million coin team. Thank you very much for watching. It's about 1.4 million. Look, you can save some money here and there. But I'm actually, you know what, we'll call it. We'll call it one mil. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because realistically everyone has a million coins nowadays. And I think anyone get it. If not, 1.5. Uh, to save some money, you can get rid of Zanetti. There you go. You solve the issue. You can literally go here and put anyone you want. You can maybe go with any other icon here. It doesn't really matter. You probably even put Kapita there. Um, but I don't think any of these cards can play left back. Actually, you can do that. So you, can, you could do something like that. And there you go. Get to 
1.2 or even nearby a million. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy and I'll catch you next one. Peace out.